This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? Today we are not from Circle K, we are at Esso Delle De Luca. This is going to be the new location, new starting location, and I will show you guys why. Uh, okay, by the way, yes, I should show you guys. This is a BMW i4 M50, and I'm going to do 1000 km challenge today. We have done it in winter. Well, winter, it was cold, and then, yeah, it was slower. But this time we have summer, nice and hot summer, so it should be a lot faster. And guess what? This car does not rapid gate. Yeah, and today we will not get any cold gate. I can have HVAC on when it's blazing hot outside, no problem, because this is BMW quality. So, let's see here. Yes, uh, this is pretty cool because we have chem power chargers. So Esso and Recharge, they recently removed fossil pumps. You can see all the dirty sheet that used to be there. The, the pumps are gone. Now we have more high tech stuff. And I can show you guys my charging session. So I just drove from home. This is close to my home. Yeah, I'm receiving 4.4 kilowatt hour per hour. <laughs> uh, I can click here. Oh, you can see, well, did it actually peak at 38 kilowatt initially? Ooh, look at that. Nice. Okay, anyway, we have two more chargers over here that also used to be fossil pumps. And then we have four more chargers over there. Well, they are technically dispensers. Yes, all right. But okay, this video was not about that one. It was about the BMW i4. So, you know the rear-wheel drive? I tested it recently. It was super efficient. It turns out that this uh, M50 is not as efficient. So the, the E-Drive 40, the rear-wheel drive, did it in 920, which is right on par with Tesla. This one, I suspect, will do it in 925. So it is now in the middle of August, and I expect that there will be less uh, holiday traffic, but still some traffic. We're going to start at 10.30, I'm a bit late today. But, oh man, look at this beauty. Oh, I don't care if it's slightly slower than Tesla, but because the, the comfort here is just superb. That's what you get when you get this. I've been driving around now for a couple of days. I've been doing some tests, and this thing here is just wonderful to drive, okay? It kind of sucks when it comes to space, yes, but the comfort, the convenient features, the head of display, the laser lights, like there's so much stuff here that it's better than Tesla. But of course, Tesla Model 3 has other qualities also. So ideally you want to have a wife and a mistress. This is like my mistress. Tesla is like my wife. <sighs> there's a guy filming me. He's probably a follower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, okay, anyway, so, Oh, charging ended. Wow, man, German quality. So the plan now is that we're gonna drive to, I guess, speculate, speculate, speculate. I don't know for sure how far I can drive and all that. Uh, but uh, this is again the downside with this car is that this car does not show me how, how many percent I will arrive with, unlike the BMW iX. <laughs> so <laughs> that's where Tesla trumps over this one, but yeah, and probably also the efficiency. But okay, so I guess we will start in 10 minutes. Well, yeah, just to make the calculations easier, I will start in 10 minutes. Let me just dig around here a little bit. Maybe go to the restroom and pee. Right, it's 10.30, we just reset. And we are good to go. Let's go. Oh yeah, hammer time. We are now at Vyra, we came here with 3% and over there, supposedly we have Ladersdau. So this time I'm avoiding it. And we are here 
with a non-test loss. This is test V3 supercharger. We see we have cold. These cars, they are plugging in on the wrong way, whatever. So I just go with the ID4 and I plug in here. The Tesla, they can kind of park in a bad way here because we have plenty of stalls for the Tesla here anyway. So uh, there is no display here, but I can show you on uh, the app that we are receiving 204 kilowatt, which means that there is no speed reduction on this one. So, all right, okay, cool. Now I have to hurry, as usual, I have to go to the gas station. It's a slightly longer walk and pee because we have to be quick. This car charges like a boss, really, 200 kilowatt hour per hour. Well, actually, huh, you know, for once, this doesn't, it doesn't seem to be ladderstau out here. We have one available stall there. Wow, I could have used it, but whatever. Or maybe that, yeah, <laughs> it's not that bad. But whatever, I'm already plugged in at the Tesla supercharger. So let's go to the boutique and pee. All right, as always, I bring food. With fast charging cars, I need to bring food. I might be able to eat a little bit, but uh, you see, I've been running pre-conditioning, which yeah runs the HVAC. And still, despite running pre-conditioning our HVAC, we have 37% already. How long have we been charging? Let's check the app. I calculated I need 48%. Oh, it doesn't tell me how long I've been charging, but I think... No, 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 wait, 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 wait. We have been charging for 11 minutes. Yes, I remember the time. 11 minutes. Uh, <laughs> so we might need to charge roughly four or five more minutes, and then we're good to go. We're still taking 115 kilowatt. Yes, awesome. So, yeah. I guess I'll eat. Oh, I need to clean the windscreen. Shit. Over here, though, we don't have the nice cleaning equipment. We've been charging uh, uh, 15 minutes now. I need 48%, I'm about to unplug, but we're getting only 64 kilowatt. Wait, is the car rapid gating? Just because I had HVAC on. Hmm. Uh, we're on the 120 zone now. At, at the acceleration ramp, I floor it. Bam! And you see here, there is like a, there's like a temperature gauge thing there. So the car was in fact overheating, it's rapid gating. Because now you see we only have this amount of power. I don't know how many kilowatt that is, but that is super slow. Holy macaroni. No, the BMW rapid gates. I had no idea this would happen. It's 28.5 degrees outside. What the heck? You see, I'm, I'm flooring it. I'm flooring it. It can barely pick up speed here. What the heck? What, seriously? Let me just let me just set uh, so let me just set cruise control here. So like, okay, okay. Let me, let me just uh, go uh, Chanel. Okay. So you see, I'm gonna show you something here. If you go to driving settings, and then you go to charging, you might be thinking, oh, maybe you have that uh, uh, charge limit uh, fan loudness. You see, it's set to unrestricted, so nothing, nothing there. Uh, that's the first thing I did. First, it was set to some kind of restricted shit uh, during uh, night, but it's, it's not night even. But this car, well, let me explain to you what the heck happened. I used the pre-conditioning because I was assuming that this car doesn't have that uh, weird shit. The pre-conditioning will steal the AC unit so that, so that the cooling of the battery did not happen and the car charged, charged slower to 48%. I was like, huh, this is slower than usual. Not only that, but you have this power limit and then it's still here. It's still not gone yet. I guess we can see now how long it takes before it's gone, but I was ex assuming that this BMW M50 i4 did not have the same design flow as the old BMW i3, which kind of was kind of working in a similar way. But apparently it is. Wow. Wow. This is big face palm. A Tesla wouldn't uh, act like this. The Tesla would kick ass for the Lord. And the Tesla, you were like, oh, you, are, you have 50 degrees in the battery? No problem, you get full power. Here's like, uh, I don't know how hot the battery is, but I have power limit. Well, I kind of stuck behind the slow pokes anyway, but uh, yes, eventually we can see when the power limit goes. I can, I suddenly noticed that this is the power limit grafting. Let me, let me show you here again. Let me, okay, if I go kind of slow and then I floor it, uh, Wow, it's like turtle mode. Holy shit! Why? Nine, 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 nine! Oh, it is, I mean, it's, 
This is one of my favorite cars, the BMW i4. It rides so well, it has so nice interior, it has the Hammond carbon speakers. Uh, uh, I'm a little bit disappointed, that's it. Well, I've been driving for 15 minutes since uh, Valberg, and now we seem to have roughly 75% power. Okay, let me uh, try now, see how it is. I can actually feel that even the region has been compromised. Okay, we have slightly more power. I can feel we have more power, but it's still kind of limited. We've been driving for 21 minutes now, and now we have full power. Ooh, oh yeah, but we don't have boost yet. Wait, do we? No, I think the boost is still not available. We have to wait a little bit longer before the boost is available. Okay, after roughly uh, after 24 minutes then the boost is back i can show you guys here so if we slow down a little bit and then i hammer it you see that the boost uh, there that, that that is the boost in action so oh wow it took roughly 24 minutes for the battery to cool down properly <laughs> oh tesla killer for the win We are now roughly at the halfway point and uh, you see now it's starting to this is middle of August and we have no Ladestau. This is more normal that we don't have any Ladestau. Okay, one charger is kaput, that's normal. Tritium chargers, ABC always kaput charger, always broken charger. But so we made it here. Oh man, just look at this color. Look at this car. I love this blue color with the with the carbon fiber. Look at oh Jesus man. Oh, this is not work safe. Holy, smoking hot. Well, literally the car is smoking hot if you start the heater. <laughs> but okay, okay, anyway. So, every time we plug in now, we're supposed to get 200 kilowatts. We can show here. What? Wait, 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 what the heck? Why are we not getting 200 kilowatts? Let me check on the camera here. Can you guys see that? Whoa, don't tell me that we are rapid gating. Like, I, no, 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 we, we cooled down the battery a long time ago. We've been driving, uh, you know, we had the boost and everything. We had, huh? We're supposed to get 200 kilowatt. What? I mean, okay, maybe, maybe on the previous session you would blame that, oh, the Tesla supercharger is not even giving all the power. Well, now we're on the Ionity 350 kilowatt charger. We're getting. 147 kilowatt huh and you see the problem is that i can't i can't if i run the if i run the preheating now uh, it will overheat because uh, some some guys claim that the problem with this fossil design maybe is that it might have only one cooling loop which means that if you run the cooling for the cabin you will not get any cooling for the battery so I will show you what I mean in case you guys don't understand what the whole thing is all about. Um, when, you, when you do this pull down here, you have this one. This one is a shortcut, but it's, it's for preconditioning the car, which means that in winter it will preheat and in summer it will pre-cool. We don't want to touch it now because you can hear the humming which means that it cools down the battery, but it's simply not enough. The battery is actually too hot to receive, to receive 200 kilowatts. So the best thing we can do right now is to at least open the windows, open this one. So I, I don't feel comfortable opening the windows. Wait, should we, should we vent it or? We just open it like this, right? Kind of. Yeah, all right, we're good. I have to go to the restroom now anyway, and we're gonna stay here a little bit. I guess I will charge you 48% again to go back. Okay, I don't know what the exact temperature over here is. It's roughly 28. The car was reporting 31 degrees when we arrived here, but 
roughly there, as you guys get the idea. So to prevent the car from overheating inside, I had to open all the windows and also open the roof. At least this car, as, when you enter the car, you can lower the windows and also clean the windscreen. So it's fairly clean. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm gonna show you something. So right now at 41%, well, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of hard, I will try to. There, can you guys kind of see it? At 41%, we get 96 kilowatt. Okay, 41%, 96 kilowatt. And then I can look in my, my spreadsheet here. Wait, I have it here somewhere. Hang on, let me just bring out the, I have it here. Okay, so at 41%, let me check here. I'm supposed to get 126 kilowatts. 126, and we are getting 95. So even now, the car is rapid gating. And wait, 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 was there some cooling going on here? There's some kind of cooling here, but it's not too aggressive. How is this car supposed to work on the track on a hot day? <laughs> it's Weissnitz. But I did not try to find flaws with this car. It seems like flaws on uh, legacy automakers always finds me. But okay, I have to hurry. We have already have 43%. I'm going to eat a little bit more from the storing bag here. And then we go back to wild bike. We're good to go, 49%, 19 minutes. Still fairly fast. All right, let's go. Let's check out the power limit now when we drive. Uh oh, it's doing it again. Look here. Oh no. Oh, it's like diesel power. No, it accelerates so slow now. Oh, why BMW? Why did you let this happen? You see, it's only 30 degrees outside. It's not that hot, really. Wow, it feels so slow now. Let's see how long it takes before it cools down again this time. We are now at Wild Bike at the V3 again because over there I was hoping to get some uh, Ionity juice, but not today, son. Not today. We have, well, not ladder stuff, but all the slots are occupied. So I was like, okay, fuck that shit. I'm going over here. And now we are not rapid gating. We are not rapid gating yet. I'm getting 199 kilowatt. Oh, yeah. We are back in business. Okay, I went to the gas station. So, okay, and then. I come back and I see this. At least two stalls that I only are available now. Okay, I was being a little bit impatient prior to the trip, but this is exactly what I've been telling you guys is that normally there is no ladder stow at Ionity, but it was summer vacation. But you see now summer vacation is almost over. So I could have waited five minutes, maybe less than five minutes, and I would have gotten a slot there at Ionity instead, but whatever. So it, it doesn't matter. See here? We are rapid gating. We're supposed to get close to 140 kilowatt at 33%, uh, or at least 135 kilowatt. So we are rapid gating again, just like, yeah, at least we received 200 kilowatt initially. So that's fine. But that's okay. Let me look at my notes here. The plan now is that I'm going for uh, Strömstad. Can I find it? Let me find it here. What, what, what the heck? The lag, the, the legacy automaker lag. So, yeah, we have, by the way, uh, we have three minutes of deduction here. Uh, there was a little bit of stout on the way south, and plus two minutes of dog slow people. So we have five minute deduction only. Uh, yeah, it should be roughly here. If you, see if I can find it. Uh, it's kind of tricky sometimes to find the... Well, it's not that one. It's a little bit further here. You see, I don't see the chargers that easily. Wait, did I go too far now? I think I went. No, there, 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 no, 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 there, there. Oh, okay. It's relatively easy to see that. That's good. Mer. Well, it's not mer. It's Ionity, but close enough. 
Here, here, I, I want it. So this, that's 224 kilometers. I already calculated beforehand. I should have used a better route planner, but uh, I think a better route planner gives me some weird estimation. But I calculated I need to spend 59%. So if you go 65%, then we should be fine. Now, how is the charging session going now? 113. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, nine. That's rapid gate. 106 kilowatt now at 36%. Uh, are we driving a leaf? Or are we driving on a bare way here? Uh, you know, I know the initial reaction for you guys. You guys be like, no, but Bjorn, there's something wrong with the press car. Well, why do I keep getting faulty press cars? And also, if there's something wrong with this car, why don't we get any error code, error notification? Like, oh, something is wrong with the coolant. Oh, your AC is kaput. You know, there's nothing saying that anything is wrong here. So we just have to assume that this works as design. Okay, and just like at Helsingborg, um, Okay, I closed these windows because they will at least protect some of it. But at least uh, I open this one and on that side to try to vent out the car because I don't want to run any AC. And I think we have no only fans mode here. If you start the AC, it will kind of, or the, the, the fans, it will also run the AC, which then messes up the cooling for the battery. <laughs> Man, I think the, the Ionity installs are better <clears throat> because here we don't have a place to sit. These supercharger V3 stalls are too slim. Mm. Let me go a little closer to see you guys. I'm eating an ice cream. Trying to cool down. While the car is trying to cool down. And then, over here we have an alien tech. Superior to this one. But, I'm testing the BMW today, so. Mmm, mmm. Mm. Awesome. Right, we're almost done now. I'm going for 65%. It's 29.5 degrees Celsius here on the tarmac. Ugh. I'm getting hot here. Ugh. I open the trunk. I think it helps a little bit. I just need airflow here. Unfortunately, I have cold rings here with some ice cubes that can chill me down. Who would have thought that? It was not only the MEB cars that were the rapid gate, also the BMW M50. And that bastard there with the Tesla. He was, he was sitting there nice and cold while he was eating some fast food. Now he's, he just left. Shit. Same with this one there, the Model 3 there. Model 3 there has awesome cooling. Just kicks ass for the Lord. Lord Elon Musk, the Almighty. Yeah, by the way, 63% 82 kilowatt. I can look up uh, what we're supposed to get now. I, s I wonder if we're still replicating. So, unfortunately, this one doesn't show me how long I've been charging here. But we're almost good to go. I have to get ready now. All right, we are now uh, stuck behind a classic Ionic, and I still have, yeah, every time now, 50% power limit. Let's see now, I can barely accelerate faster than that. I only, oh, this is full power. This is full power. Oh, come on. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Well, well, well. All right, I forgot we can show this one, the adaptive content. You can see the horsepower, Newton meat and everything here. Okay, this one is not too interesting. That's the motor power. Okay, let's floor it. Mm. Oh yeah, 300 horsepower, 340, 350, woohoo, whoa, 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 let me see, but if we slow down a bit, if we slow, slow down a bit now, see here, we slow down a bit, let's try again, oh, wait, 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 290 horsepower, 298, oh, it's blinking, it's blinking, it's like 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, oh. okay, if we slow down a little bit here, Slow down a bit. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, okay, okay. Then try again. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, it's pulling a Mach E. It's pulling a Mach E. We are re reduced to 200 horsepower. The Mach E people will be laughing at us now. <laughs> what, 
what the heck? Like, what the heck is that shit? What? Uh, no. A Volvo. Oh, a Volvo just hammered me. Oh, a classic Volvo. A Tesla just hammered me. I'm, oh, I'm gonna catch them. I'm gonna catch them. Oh, I'm gonna catch them so bad now. Wait, 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 wait. With 200 horsepower, I'm not gonna catch anyone. Oh, shit. Okay, slow down a little bit more. Slow down. Let's try to uh, hammer some more here. Okay, okay. Okay, just lo 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 lower the speed, lower the speed. Okay, okay, and then floor it. Okay, okay, ready? Mm. 200. Okay, it seems like at least 200 is the minimum here. Oh, well, well, well. We are now at Hoxtorp. I have to bail out and stop here with 18% left because the problem was that I don't know what the, what's up with that. I could simply not get over to uh, Strömstad. I must have miscalculated something because I think earlier today the problem was that the roads were so clogged with left lane huggers that the consumption was fairly low. But then suddenly towards the end of the evening now we have less traffic and I could hammer it and then the consumption was higher. Let me see if I can show you guys the board computer here. Oh, wait, huh? What, what, what? Oh, it shows here. What the heck? No, where's the... Where's the charger screen? Okay, whatever. Uh, this is weird, but I have to go here and I have to switch here. Uh, to uh, uh, since last charge, no, it, no, it reset. What? Okay, I wanted to show you that it was kind of thirsty towards the end. Now, okay, whatever. Let's go back to uh, since individual. This is the whole trip so far. And wait, how do you get the charger screen back? I press this button here, the BC, the board computer. I keep pressing it, and uh, this is so weird. Let's just stop. 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 Okay, okay, okay. We, we just have to... Uh, we have to just go do this. And then this. And then this. And then I have to get that out of bed again and start everything. Yeah, now, now we see the... Ooh! It's not cold. It's not rapid gating anyway. Back in the game. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck is going on now? Wait, that looked like 200 kilowatt. Why is it, we're getting 204 kilowatt? All right, all right, I better hurry. Well, I have to calculate how many percent. Well, I did I did calculate that we need approximately, no, I, okay, I deleted it. We need roughly 60, 65 percent. Yeah, this time I think I need to get enough margin. And then this car does not estimate how many percent I will arrive with for me. <laughs> so that's kind of bummer so far. Look at this BMW parking. He doesn't know how to park within the lines. Well, actually, this is the way you should park because now I'm taking up the stall. You see, the Teslas, like over there, Teslas, they have the charge port on the left side with the right side, not the right side with the wrong side. So Tesla would have, Tesla would have been facing this direction with the charge port here. I will connect here. So I'm not interfering too much with the rest of the Tesla cars here. You see, we can poke a little bit like this, but no problem. Right, we're going straight home now, 210 kilometers. I charge you 70%. We have five minutes of deduction for convenient charge because we go straight home. So yes, at 69%, it's taking 83 kilowatts. Let's go for it. Whoa, look at this. This time we have full power, we have boost even. What? Huh? Seems like we don't get rapid gate anymore. We don't that much rapid gates. The temperature has, hasn't really dropped that much, but for some reason now, it's better. <laughs> Maybe because these charging sessions going to roughly 65, 70% is better because then you give the time, uh, you get the car some time to cool down while it's also charging uh, at, well, it was 80 kilowatt, which is not that slow. But you see, actually for more normal no use cases, you wouldn't charge only 50%, you would charge to maybe 60, 70%. 
and then uh, you wouldn't notice the thing here uh, yeah huh maybe that's why the guys yeah there were some people in live stream they claim that no but this has people have been using the i4 uh, m50 in hotter climate and they didn't get any problem well most likely they charge 69 percent not to 50 uh, percent <laughs> that's the best explanation i have right now so all right let's enjoy the last run now back home so let me see what is the time now um 18.54, okay, so we start at 10.30, so we have we have seven minutes of deduction, by the way, seven minutes. Three minutes of a little bit of uh, stau, uh, two minutes of um, some slow pokes, and two minutes of uh, uh, some Baustelle south of uh, Göteborg. That's it, seven minutes only. No Ladestau uh, deduction today. back in Norway now and uh, you see the time is 1943 so we had two minutes of stau at the border but I calculated that the convenient charge only took three minutes so blah, 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 quick math we have 12 minutes of total deduction we started at 1030 which means that now it's the actually roughly the nine hour mark so after nine hours we have done 915 kilometers oh <laughs> all right let's hammer down Norway Back to Oslo, back to Wifi and uh, Isabel. There is it, the countdown. 9992, Nine 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 one thousand one thousand consumption two twenty nine twenty twenty six that means oh nine forty four but we have seventeen percent left you know what I actually calculated that sixty percent should have been enough and somehow I charge seventy percent I need a made I made a new mistake I guess so I guess we'll just make it 940. All right, let's do that. 940. We charge a little bit too much. No mistake for me. All right, we're back home. So why did it take 940? If you look at the list now, uh, the the e drive 40, which is a rear wheel drive, took only 920. So this was 20 minutes slower. Well, you, if you look at the consumption, it was 208 on the rear wheel drive versus 229. I predicted 228 actually. Because based on the range test, I found out that this car seems to be roughly 20 watt hour per kilometer less efficient than the rear wheel drive. So, okay, the range test shows it now. The 1000 kilometer challenge confirms that this car is in fact thirstier than the rear wheel drive. And I guess we have one more test, which is the OnlyFans run. I will do that in a couple of days. And that will also probably confirm that this car is thirstier now why is it thirsty is it because of the tire i don't think so we have very similar tire i suspect it's just something to do with the drivetrain i guess in winter ish well then it was uh, 10 10 so it is still half an hour faster in the winter run and why was it that much faster uh, i guess the consumption was a lot higher than oh shit i guess this car doesn't have any heat scavenging 274 Wow, uh, but it was cold-ish and it was wet towards the end. So, uh, well, I also wonder maybe it was cold gating. Was it cold gating? No, no, you know what? I just remember now that uh, M50, you know, that run I did previously in during winter, uh, towards the end, the car was charging slower. And someone mentioned that in the manual, you know, because some people might wonder, hey, there's, there's, there's got to be something wrong with your car. This one, the press car, but why do I keep getting kaput press cars, right? Someone looked up in the manual and then, I don't remember where it was, instructions book. Uh, and then in here somewhere, I don't remember which page it was, someone mentioned it. Uh, there was somewhere in here, it actually says that 
if you drive a lot and you charge a lot during one day, the same day, there will be slight restrictions in the DC fast charging speed to conserve the high voltage battery. It says in the manual even, and there is no error message on the screen when it replicates. And I think actually that I kind of ruined it the first session at, um, at um, Ionity, no, well, or, or there was a wild bike because I preheated, the, I pre-cooled the car and I kind of stole the AC compress compressor and then the, the car replicated. And then it was kind of hot for the rest of the session. Well, it was hot, but towards the end, as you guys saw at Hoxtorp, then it didn't replicate that bad anymore. So I guess you can avoid this by charging it to around 60, 70% and you will reduce the, the chance of replicate. And I guess you can avoid using the, the preheating or the keep climate on feature because then that, that kind of messes up the car. So um, yes, um, first I thought about asking BMW whether there's something wrong with this car or not, but I don't think I have to because I think this is not a flaw. This is not an issue. It's uh, by specification, unfortunately. Uh, so, um, Yes, um, I think that's it, man. Uh, yes, what is it to say? It's still a comfortable car. I like the seats. I like the sound system. I like the ride. I like the suspension, soundproofing. Everything is great. And for the most part, I think for most people, uh, you won't notice this. But maybe if you go on a track and it's hot outside and you're also fast charging, then you might also trigger this replicate. But for most people, I guess you won't notice it. I, I don't know really. Uh, if you hammer it on the autobahn and it's hot, maybe you will also get rapid gate. Yeah. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.